Hello and welcome to the next upload from Legoland Malaysia. Now we are heading off to the Land of Adventures, which is full of all different dinosaur themed adventures. But this is also the wettest log flume I have ever got on in my life. I have done plenty of log flumes in my time and I have never ever got so drenched like I did riding this ride and you'll have that to look forward to later on in the video as I wring out my short and t-shirt and I stand there like a dripping mess but you can see that this area is a mix of a lot of other different bits and pieces now I can't play the music in the background for that but that is the we will rock you um, theme tune that you do hear when you walk past Logoland Windsor but that is obviously located in a completely different area we do a full loop and they do have a nice little shop here as well now there's a reason why you've got the big dino drive is just there because you desperately will need them now lucky for me the sun was out and it was a very very warm day now you've got to remember when you see the state of me I am in a very very light gray t-shirt that's all you've got to remember when you see me in a second now I didn't actually know what I was walking up to I would just walk around this dino island this bit just here and then it was a log flume but you can only go on as a pair because it is a log flume where you go in rows of two but you have to be sat beside somebody and luckily there was another adult waiting so we went on it together sat in the middle which I think is a little bit of a mistake and it was ridiculous so you will see that in a second by far the wettest log flume not the deepest drop but why you got so wet i do not know but the theming was fantastic but <laughs> look at the state of me i was absolutely soaking wet everything including my trainers were just now splashing around and I left a trailing puddle through this store. Now we do come and have a look at this later on in the video because we come back once I've dried out a little bit because they've got lots of different bits and pieces in here with regards to the t-shirts and lots of Lego sets as well. Now I either come back in or I actually now just get the floor soaking wet because it is what it is. So I think we might have a quick look at some bits and pieces now and we might look at it later on because like I said this is the first time me actually putting this back together. But you've got lots of different bits and pieces in here. You can see you've got all the different types of key rings, you've got all the little lanyards that go around the top of your neck and you have got a good amount of selection of all of the different brackets in here now they also had a huge discount on all of the jurassic park lego sets as well which is quite surprising inside a legoland store but it was also really nice to see so you can see all of these sets up across here then you've got all of the different three and ones so you could just pick up all of these if you wanted to rather than going to the massive lego stop that they've got on the way out now this this legoland park i think by far has the most different types of lego stores available but like i said there is more of that available later on once i've dried off because i did look down and i was just leaving a massive puddle which you will see in a second so i am doing all of this blind i do i am exploring this with you for the first time because it's something that i like doing so if i do miss some bits and pieces don't worry because once i've done each land individual i then turn the camera off i go over and explore and then we do a full park tour. So that way at least I get to see everything. And if I did miss anything, it will be added into the full park tour. Now, it's a weird ride. Because like the one at Legoland Windsor, where you go around, you see a lot of theming with the pirates and all that kind of thing. Obviously, this is all dino, but it is a crossover. It is the adventure. So it's Johnny Thunder, which has now just come out in the new adventure sets as well, I do believe. So this is a character from the mid-90s, 1997. Now, you just go around the base and there'll be one or two dinosaurs. Nothing spectacular, nothing massive, but you'll see that it's got a half-decent lift on the way up. You can see the people there waiting for their friends to get out. So, now there is a carriage about to go in. So, this is how long it takes you to now loop back around and shoot back down. There's a lot of detail on the inside of this. Lots of nice characters to have a look at. You've got all the really nice dinosaurs on the inside. You've got all like, these hatching eggs and things like that. This is something, the theme, that I can see a lot of the other parks doing. Now, I do believe they are opening up a dino theme at Legoland California, I think. And potentially, it would be quite nice if they could use the now disused Viking River Splash in Windsor for this kind of theming as well, because they used to have a really nice dino section that got taken away from the hotel. But, as this comes down, I'm going to go quiet and just look at their reaction. You 
should not get as wet as I got going down something like that. I don't understand how you can, but they are drenched, just like I was, and you'll see in a second, I think, That is me trying to dry off in the sun. I was not expecting that whatsoever. My socks, trainers, everything else you can imagine is soaking wet. And don't forget that t-shirt is supposed to be light grey. But within about half an hour, I had almost completely dried off. So it wasn't as uncomfortable. But if you do this when it's slightly cooler, I can imagine it being a right night. But it was a good fun supplies. There was a sign saying that you will get drenched. But obviously when you go to a Legoland park, you don't think anything of it. Uh, it was not lying whatsoever. Anyway, moving off from the fact that I got drenched on a water ride, shock and horror, you can see directly in front that is a adventure game, so obviously don't forget everything is themed to dinosaurs. What they did not have here was like this, the old school safari ride, which they still have in Billund. That's the one that they used to have in Windsor. I don't know if they got it in Germany. Some of them are themed to zoo bits and pieces, like your zebras and things like that, and your big elephants. The one in Windsor actually was themed to dinos, and they don't have that one here so i would not be too surprised if the one that they open up again at legoland california will be rethemed to that and what is their fairy tale brook or what used to be the fairy tale brook might then add in some other dino models as well so i would like to get back there sooner rather than later because that is a huge land that they're going to be expanding into and it does look like a good bit of fun so if you haven't caught the legoland california bits and pieces that i filmed at the end of 2023 head over and find that playlist now there's lots and lots of different seating area all around the park and again obviously it's covered because it is just so hot but this i thought was a perfect place to eat now i wasn't starving but i just did need a nibble so i grabbed myself some fries i do think they are and we have a nice and beautiful people coming down just here so listen to this You can see why you needed the ponchos. It doesn't look like it's a big drop, but honestly, it's just one of those. You could easily trick family members to go on that. So if they've not watched this video and you have, and you are coming here soon, make sure they get on this ride. You just film it from the vantage point and then you can laugh because I don't think there's a safe place to sit. Anyway, moving on from watching other people get drenched and making myself feel a little bit better for myself, we will now move on as my shorts carry on dripping down the back of my leg. It's pretty cool, actually, because you've got the nice burger junction just here, and if you just walk in a straight line a little bit, you've then got the really impressive Ninjago section, which is also next to the adventure section as well. So each theme literally goes from one to another to another, and they're in little pockets. So some areas are a little bit smaller, like the Lego City, for example, is absolutely enormous. This is right on the corner of the map so I was really glad that I managed to get to this bit no problem because this was the bit that I was looking for because I have seen a video about this before that there was just dinosaur theming here but I didn't really pay too much attention with regards to the rides and things like that and I'm glad that I did manage just to experience all this when it was really really quiet to be honest but the easiest thing to do if you are wondering how to get your bearings is just go on the observation tower because you go all the way up and you can see exactly where everything is as you start to spin around that video is also available in the Legoland Malaysia playlist and then you can obviously see it for yourself but there's plenty of different places to go there's lots of individual zones so you've got the Ninjago you've got the Adventure you've got the Lego City you've got the Technic you've got the Dino and there is one or two others as well like the Castle for example then you've got the Mini Land and of course you've got the entrance when you first come in with all of the big shops and things like that so you really really are spoilt for lots and lots of different themes but if you struggle going up and down hills, so say for example we use Windsor for an example because it is very very hilly to get down and get back up again. This is all flat and it is just on loop and it's all on one tier. So it's all on basically the same level where you've got the shops and the stores and everything like that. They are all together. Now you've got your pay to plays that we're walking past on the left hand side and then you've got some nice little eatery bits and pieces just on the left hand side as well where you can just sit there and grab a bite now that is dino island that is what you want to get your family members on or play a prank on your friend because it does not look like from the front 
you're going to be walking onto a log flume because honestly i didn't even know there was a log flume here so that was another thing that caught me by surprise now you can see that you have got lego models dotted absolutely everywhere and something i really do appreciate about this park is you do have to pay attention to everything you've got to look up and down and around just to make sure that you don't miss any of the models and there are some rental lockers just there as you can see so you can rent it all day if you want to for a certain cost or with regards to obviously the bags when you get on the ride you can just put your bag in other places like I did because obviously I had my blue bag with me and I did leave that to the side so you did not have to worry about all of your stuff getting drenched it was just you and that was fine now you can see at the time of this being filmed what the giveaway was from that store so they did have lots of different bits and pieces inside that store and obviously it was very very impressive to see everything that they had but just like that we are done now i'm gonna to have to find the video footage of the inside of the shops it's somewhere but i can't find it but i will add it to the full tour now we are on our way to the ninjago section which will be available in a completely separate upload so if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely fantastic but as always thank you very much for watching you lot take care of the next one Ta-da.